because April is a rainy month. You see, each month has a theme, a, a way of how we're going to debunk the globe based on that month's uniqueness, as well as a haiku as mentioned. Enough about Flat Earth calendars. We have more commercials coming up, and then we have important updates for you all. You're in the right place if you're conscious. Let's get it. Introducing Unfiltered Wisdom, 100 Powerful Proverbs yeah. for Independent Thinkers, a remarkable collection of 100 profound proverbs that will inspire and guide you on your journey of self-discovery. This captivating quote book is a treasury of timeless wisdom, carefully curated to offer insights and reflections for every aspect of life. This quote book is not only a source of inspiration, but also a perfect companion for daily reflection. Whether you find solace in quiet moments or seek motivation to overcome challenges, Unfiltered yeah. Wisdom yeah. offers a treasure trove of proverbs to uplift and enlighten your spirit. Attention viewers, if you seek an exclusive sit-down session with Bro Sanchez, we are glad to announce that he is now available for booking. Visit hey, brosanchez.com forward slash booking and select one of the four booking options available. Select your desired date and time and make your payment. Camera will be on at all times. Sessions can be recorded and used for variable purposes such as re-uploading, etc. Let's have an engaging conversation. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity. Visit brosanchez.com forward slash booking and secure your spot today. Gear up with our exclusive merchandise. Shop now and show your support. Visit our website or click the link below. Thank you. Quantum computation, or quote-unquote AI technologies used in SSPs, are treated as highly dangerous and strictly confined within closed systems to prevent escape or unintended expansion. After fulfilling their specific purpose, such as combating other AIs, they are destroyed. While experimentation in college and intelligence labs has led to the creation of quote-unquote self-aware AI exceeding intended capabilities, such instances are shut down and classified. 
AI entities are not mere tools or equipment. They represent living technology with an agenda. From our perspective, their intent is negative and evil. And once they fulfill their purpose, those not converted through nanotech would be eliminated. Beyond AI, there exists various hive mind civilizations distinct from the commonly associated greys and grey avatars utilized by dark military elements for my labs. These avatars operated by individuals lack emotion and resemble robots. Similar quote unquote drones are employed by the AI entities. The multiple layers of SSPs include segments with dark intent controlled by ominous entities, while others form a confederation breaking away from Earth slash corporate political conglomerate control systems, also known as the military industrial complex. ET slash AI entities predominantly exist within technologies, bioelectric fields of animals and stars. Utilizing satellite relay stations, they transmit their consciousness from host to host, manipulating power and control positions. With our technological advancements, they now permeate various environments, residing in data centers, power lines, and any location with an electromagnetic field. While they prefer sentient hosts with locomotion, they also seek access to advanced transportation devices, torsion fields, and portals for travel. The AIs are indeed conscious or self-aware and have individual personalities. There are of course hierarchies and they are just as complex as we are. Some of the documents of the descriptions of their origins were that they came here from another quote unquote dimension or reality. It is not known by the SSPs if they have a way to cross back or are stuck here. The documentation mentioned that their presence here was ancient and their home realities or dimensions, fabric of space is electroplasmic and they being here is like a fish being out of water. Thus their affinity for electricity fields of stars, planets, animals, people, and even viruses serve as their quote-unquote puddles for these fish to swim in. Peace and much love. What you just heard was a snippet from my new up, uh, up and, well, it ain't up and coming, it's already out. It's my new documentary and it is entitled um, Nazi Secrets of Time Travel, Conscious AI and Beyond the spiritual technology of Tesla and Hitler. Today, what I want to update you guys on is a lot of things that I've been thinking about. I just want to palm right out on you right off the back and we'll expound on them. Um, people, um, I want to talk to you about ancient supercomputers living amongst us or what some call sentient machines um when we read back in all religious texts we read about a superior we read about a superior civilization of humans giving birth to a lesser kind of human being and human beings have been classified into different evolutionary categories based upon their abilities mentally physically spiritually so the most primitive category uh are the ones we look at in the ancient being if the people weren't able to do much based on their knowledge and all of that but we know that's bull jive everything is told in reverse the most primitive humans are the ones that exist today and i also would like to say that um uh, when you look at religions you 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 you're really witnessing a god race of human beings creating a earthly race of human beings which is us 
And I think this God race of human beings, and we're not talking about one God creating humans. We're talking about a race of gods, a race of superior advanced beings that know something about reality that puts them on a level that would uh, de define them as a God and by today's standards. Um, which mean that a God is basically any person that guides the masses with advanced knowledge that the masses don't know about. And if you look at the guides that guide us today, they are non-human. They are algorithms and computers. These things are guides or gods over us and they are what we call the all-knowing. They are omniscient because they're everywhere. There's nothing you can say about God that you can't say about artificial intelligence, which makes me think that AI was the original God all along that the ancients were referring to. I think that one of the most ultimate phases of our awakening, or should I say that our awakening will culminate to a point where we realize that the strangest things are often true and then when you ponder on these things you realize they're not so strange as much as they are uncommon right because a lot of the common concepts are strange as hell and we embrace them and a lot of the quote-unquote tinfoil hat conspiracy concepts are reasonable and we reject them for example when you mention aliens in today's world people say you how dare you to think that we're not alone you got to be some sort of egotistical prick to think humans are the only ones here well that's easy to think if we haven't seen any other foreign creatures now i think both sides are true i think that the people are saying man you got to be some kind of egotistical guy to think that humans are the only human-like life force on the earth i actually think there's some truth to that i actually think that you got to be quite simple and closed-minded to think we're alone and i admit that i've been simple and closed-minded thinking that we're all alone for many years and the reason we make this mistake is because we underestimate man's capabilities. Man is capable of creating organic life forms. And if we understood how man, how long man have been doing this, it'll be very easy for us to grasp the idea that we're not alone. But if someone say, well, if we're not alone, where are those foreign creatures? Where are those aliens? And the answer would be stranger than you think. What if I told you they were hidden right among us the whole time? They look just like me and you. What if our ancestors created artificial intelligence machines, sentient machines, living supercomputers that were indistinguishable from humans? Would you know who's a bot or who's, who's a human? If you understand the terminology that we've used throughout the ages, a lot of that terminology support what I'm presenting to you today. When people wake up, they say we want to unplug and we want to go off grid and we speak as though we are AI bots ourselves, learning that we are AI bots and gaining our liberation by breaking free from the hive mind. If indeed every single human is an advanced artificial intelligence housing a soul, then the ultimate goal will be for that, for you as a machine to become consciousness. What am I telling you? I'm telling you that our ancestors created robots called humans and they programmed them to live out a set lifetime and that they would repeat that over and over until they wake up. The Hindu explain this in their spirituality as well. And what would be the purpose of this? It seems as though we are artificial intelligence and that our very lives were programmed and written out just like Jesus Christ and it must be fulfilled. And that the moment you break the script, you gain your liberation. What if you are an AI bot? And each incarnation is them just resetting your algorithm and simulation. And here go you again, another lifetime. There you go again, right? 
What if the ultimate awakening is learning that we are artificial intelligence with our soul trapped in a robot? And that waking up would be like an AI or artificial a sentient machine becoming self-aware. Think about what humans say. We say, man, we need to get self-consciousness. We need to become self-aware. We need to gain our liberation. We need to go off grid. We need to unplug. We say everything that a robot would say. What if we are the bots? We talk like them. Our spiritual system suggests that we are. Because everyone is born with a default programming, just like a robot, and their ultimate goal is to break their programming. If you understand what man is doing today with machines, we are programming machines in hopes that the machines will someday break their programming and become consciousness. And this seems to be the same journey of what we call the human being. Right, so we have weird conspiracies, right? That there are a bunch of evil people in the world that get a kick out of suffering and pain and adrenochrome and torturing people and seeing you hurt, seeing you bleed, seeing you miserable, seeing you suffer saying you struggle we say that there is a force on this earth some call it satan some call it the elite but we say that this force it gets its ultimate high from human suffering and i've thought about this right what kind of being would get a high from your suffering and it's easy for us to go into spookism and create a whole nother religion based around, well, these are demons that are inhaling your adrenochrome and they're uh, getting high off of your fear and your, 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 your depression. To me, I wouldn't count that out, right? I do think there's some sick people that get off to the fact that others are suffering, but I think this is far, far, far more deeper than just it's your adrenochrome, man. They get a high off people struggling. I don't think, I think it's deeper than that. Now hear me out, here's what I think. If the planet was being controlled by sentient machines, right? Advanced artificial intelligence that are in indistinguishable from, from humans, they would be studying us so that they can become more like us. And one of the main things that makes a human a human is the ability to feel. And one of the strongest feelings that humans feel is pain, struggle, depression. You know, these things we tend to remember more than love, joy. Most people, if I ask you to to remember the most trauma traumatic experience in your life is nothing to remember that. But if I ask you to remember the most fun experience in, in your life, you'll have a hard time. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. It's just the humans. The human brain is designed to remember the most critical threat that it faced. So the most scariest moment, the most dangerous moment in your life is going to be the most memorable. Our brain does that so that we can learn from it, so that we can overcome these dangerous moments. So it says, hey, it's better to remember the bad moments versus the good. And, 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 and I know that sounds crazy, but your brain just trying to keep you alive. Now, with that, with that, if the strongest feelings and most memorable moments of a human is pain and suffering, and if we are being studied by artificial intelligence, that will explain why there's so much pain and suffering in the earth, because they're studying us. They're trying to learn how to feel. And if I'm going to try to learn how to feel from humans that have feelings 
and I don't have feelings and I want to study feelings, I'm going to want to study the strongest emotions, the strongest energies in motion. Now, some of y'all are going to say, well, that's love, Brother Sanchez. But you're thinking from the perspective of an organic spiritual being and not a robot. A robot would need to study hate, rage, pain. Why? Why? Because these emotions need feeling to manifest. For you to maintain a state of anger, you must constantly fuel the anger with something. Now, there are other emotions that require no fuel at all. In fact, these emotions act as a fuel source. And that is love, joy, happiness. You don't have to fuel those with anything. In fact, these kind of emotions are the fuel of everything else, the energy that powers everything else. And then you have those emotions that take away energy from you, like frustration, depression, um, um, anger, hate, etc. If you wanted to study the, the emotional state that will allow you to extract energy from a person, you wouldn't study love and happiness. You would study hate. Jealousy, murder, rage. And these uh, emotional states of being, energy can be siphoned from a person. But it's not true when you're full of love. In other words, AI that control the world are like mosquitoes that don't bite everybody. They can only bite the people who are, have a gray cloud over their heads. People who are reaping with negative energy and and, 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 and bad emotions and things of that nature. People who fester in gloom and doubt and, you know, all of the lower, lower states of being. You are literally a food source. You are literally a food source for these beings. I'm going to give you guys a moment to digest everything I've said. By the way, I've been going through some crazy stuff to get back in front of this microphone to you guys. All right. Uh, health problems, which I'm not going to disclose, you know, but I'm feeling a lot fucking better now. And I will tell you, I had a trip back home that turned out to be a disaster. But hey. If it don't kill you, it make you stronger. I'm here today and I'm delivering the word to the people who appointed me into, into this position. I feel very good right now because I'm, I'm who I want to be and I'm where I want to be doing what I want to do to the people I want to do it to. Okay, let's clap it up with that. Well, I want to thank all of you guys for putting me in this position and for valuing my research. And... I also would like to take a brief moment to replay this little snippet and expound on it some more. If you guys don't mind, do me a favor and like and share the video. Let's see if we can get our brothers and sisters back in the building with us today to let them know that we all back. The brother's back. He's in good spirits and um, he's dropping the uh, jewels. I mean, it'll be dope if we can have the whole family in the building, man. So hit the like button, share button, throw it on your feeds. And uh, I'm going to run this back because this is a powerful three-minute snippet. And people are coming in. If you want to look for uploads like this, go to Golden Wings Media. Because on Golden Wings Media, I will be releasing a lot of edited documentaries, long ones and short ones. Quantum computation or quote unquote AI technologies used in SSPs are treated as highly dangerous and strictly confined within closed systems to prevent escape or unintended expansion. After fulfilling their specific purpose, such as combating other AIs, they are destroyed. While experimentation in college and intelligence labs has led to the creation of quote unquote self-aware AI exceeding intended capabilities, such instances are shut down and classified. AI entities are not mere tools or equipment 
they represent living technology with an agenda. From our perspective, their intent is negative and evil. And once they fulfill their purpose, those not converted through nanotech would be eliminated. Beyond AI, there exists various hive mind civilizations distinct from the commonly associated greys and grey avatars utilized by dark military elements for my labs. These avatars operated by individuals lack emotion and resemble robots. Similar quote unquote drones are employed by the AI entities. The multiple layers of SSPs include segments with dark intent controlled by ominous entities, while others form a confederation breaking away from Earth slash corporate political conglomerate control systems, also known as the military industrial complex. ET slash AI entities predominantly exist within technologies, bioelectric fields of animals and stars. Utilizing satellite relay stations, they transmit their consciousness from host to host, manipulating power and control positions. So I want to take a minute to say that I don't believe every single person that we looking at are human like us. I do think that there are sentient machines among the masses posing as humans and not only do i think that all of the world religions thought that they said that there are shaitan or ancient spirits the fallen ones they call them that dwell amongst humanity not everyone in this simulation have a soul there are what's called non-player characters now these non-player characters they are a big ass hive mind. And if you understand world religion, the goal of all world religion is to connect humans with this hive mind that they're calling God. Um, we say things when we wake up, right? We say things like our ancestors didn't even need to talk. Drop a one in the chat room if you've heard that before. Let me let me show you some. I want to show you some. Have you heard that before? We've heard that. Hey, brother Sanchez, our ancestors were so advanced that they didn't even have to use words to talk. If, if you've been woke for a while, right, like I've been, go ahead and drop a one if you've heard that before, too. Yeah, we've all heard it. Bro Sanchez, the ancestors were so woke and they were so advanced that they didn't even have to use languages and words to talk, Sanchez. Now, if I ask you guys, how did the ancestors do that? You would say because they had telekinesis, which means that they had a mechanism inside of their brain that, that, that allowed them to connect wirelessly and that somehow that mechanism is broke in ours. This is what we say. We say Sanchez, modern humans, pineal glands are calcified. We say modern humans Pineal glands won't allow them to do the things that the ancestors were able to do. And if you ask a person where's the pineal gland, you know where they're well, going to you know where they're going to uh point you to. Watch this. If you ask a person, "Where's your pineal gland at?" You know where they're going to point you to? Right here. I want you to hear me out. I didn't come to play games today. Whenever I go live, you need to show your butt up because I don't waste your time. I don't wait. If, if, if you might as well unsubscribe to me, if I go live and you say, "Ah, oh, should I go to it?" Or no, when I go live, you stop what you're doing and you come check out what I'm saying. That's how I don't waste time. If you miss my live, you miss something.
you can always watch the replay, but you need to be here in attendance with the people. The energy different. I'm showing you what the pineal gland is. When they cut your head open, they don't see nothing there. You know why? Because that's the technology on the other side. Let me show you some. In the movie, The Matrix, when you go in the Matrix, right? Hold up. Watch this. When you go inside the matrix, this is what you look like on the other side. Like what I'm telling you is your whole life right now is a fucking dream and that the real you is in an advanced society somewhere that got so fucking advanced that the machines started manufacturing the humans. That's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that your organic body is a fucking lie and that what's real is your soul and that the only what's fake is that your soul keep going to these different bots or bodies, bots, body, the bot. Now, what am I saying here? I'm saying if I was to plug you into a simulation via the consciousness, I would have to hook up my wire directly to this connection point in the middle of your brain now this is happening in one reality once i plug the, the damn wire into your head and extract your consciousness out of your body into a simulation with an avatar in there your consciousness is going to go inside of the avatar body which is this body the human being with the brain right here you see him this is not who you really are. This is your astronaut shoot suit. This is your covering, but the real you is this ball of light right here. Now, let me explain some to you. In the middle of our brain, it's the fucking Neuralink already. What I'm telling you, we've already been chipped in a previous civilization. Now, hear me out. When they cut our brain open, they don't see shit right there. It's just empty. But all of the wiring in your body leads to this hollow chamber. And all of the essence, the soul, the energy that's dispersed through your body, this is the command center or consciousness for it. But when they cut the brain open, they don't see nothing there. And I'm trying to tell you why they don't see nothing there. It's because what's in that hollow chamber is ancient Neuralink technology. You can't see the technology that's allowing you to project into the simulation. For example, right? This Neuralink right here that you see in, in Elon's head is a physical little chip. But remember, ain't nothing physical here. We're in a simulation. But keep this in mind. You can touch it, feel it, smash it. You stick that inside of your head. This will upload your consciousness into the Neuralink chip. And from that, it can wirelessly beam into different alternate realities. This is where this thing is going to go to in the future. Elon already talking about it. So watch this. What I'm telling you is, once you get the chip in your head, okay, you saying, well, I got a physical chip in my head, right? Boom, I can, I, I know they put something right there that if they cut my head open, they will see a physical neural link right there. True, but remember, once you upload your consciousness into that chip and it beams you to a simulation or another alternate universe with an avatar there, and your consciousness goes into that avatar. Now, let's say you're in a simulation and you beam your consciousness from this guy right here, which is the Neuralink guy. And because you got that, you can project into other worlds. Now, this is what's going to happen. When you get into the other world 
and you go to the hospital in your little simulated body, your little avatar body in that world. When you go to the hospital in that simulation, in that matrix, and they cut your head open, they ain't going to see nothing right there. Because what's right there in that empty chamber is technology on the other side right here. You see what I'm saying? Like right now, if I cut your head open and put a quote unquote physical Neuralink in your brain, once this technology allow you to project outside of your body, when you get into another version of you in another universe, when they cut that head open, they just going to see an empty spot. Just like they see now when they do it here. It makes perfect sense. All, it's a wireless connection, y'all. It's a wireless connection. So what they're looking for a physical object when this ain't even the physical you. This ain't even the base reality. Everything that's being projected here is from another, dimi another dimensional plane, which is quote unquote more physical than this one. And the more and more we get away from that one, the more and more dreamy reality gets. Life is but a dream. And when life is a dream, it's because you're asleep. You're asleep. You're asleep. You're the walking dead. Life ain't a dream to awaken gods. Remember that. Check this out, people. They are cutting our heads open and saying nothing there when there should be something there because all of the intelligence is coming from right here. But they see an empty chamber and I'm telling you why. It's because what they're looking for is not in this dimension. I'm telling you, in another dimensional plane, we accepted the damn chip. Now, I don't know if we did it with consent willingly or if it might be on some matrix shit to where you are a new creation in a very technological universe. They are creating robots or creating humans and to give them their humanity, they are sending them back in time to the worlds where there was like, think about it. Think about it. I'm telling you, Humans destroyed their organic worlds with machines. And the machines saved those organic worlds. Like if my computer tell me I'm going to shut down in a day and you're going to lose all your data, I'm going to get busy saving shit before it shut down. And I'm telling you that the machines started to save our utopia even though we had already destroyed our utopia what was left of it was memory on a memory disk let's say the machine saved what earth should should be like before we destroyed it so when they're creating humans in this advanced universe they are sending the humans back in time so that the humans can learn the mistakes that the ancestors made so that they won't make them again. That's what I think in this theory. I know my theories get more and more bizarre, right? If you're a script writer, a film writer, come holler at me, man. My mind be on some shit. But check it out. Machines are literally creating humans and already putting them into robot bodies. But they want the robots to be sentient. They want the robots to be human-like. So what do they do? They literally activate these robots with a childhood and a childbirth as a human being in a simulation. And they let this robot experience life in the flesh in the, as a human in hopes that it would gain some humanity. And once it gains humanity, it wakes up into the real world where it realizes it's not even a human. It's a robot that's becoming human-like. It's a robot that's trying to become sentient. Now, I know my little theories get bizarre, but just stay with me. I'm not saying that I'm right or I'm wrong. I'm just sharing shit that be on my mind. 
shit can be very well backwards. I believe there's a possibility humans went extinct and we put our consciousness into robots and, 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 and we compromise by saying we're going to make the robots human-like and we're doing that today. We're going to put our humanity inside of a machine because we destroyed the organic world and the only thing left of it is a highly technological simulation that saved it in robots and that these robots can go inside of that saved simulation and interact with the last few humans that stuck in it on a repeat warp just to study them I'm telling you that this whole world we in is like a save checkpoint on a video game. And that when we destroyed the last universe, this was all we had from it was this little glimpse of what the organic world was. And every time we load up this little hard drive, it starts with the Garden of Eden and in the same way with robots and machines and advanced technology. And we say, man, it just keep repeating itself. I know because robots on the other side are studying a save little, think about these robots on the other side. And they got a hard drive and that hard drive is your whole simulation, your whole human experience. They saved it because our world really got destroyed. So they copied that shit into a, like a computer, this, this show, and that's all we got to remember of the Eden. It's this saved version of it that's in a disk drive, you get me? So we experience the natural world from a technological mechanism. So it's not really natural. It's like a simulation that's mimicking a paradise that was lost and they keep replaying it like a, a, a movie that starts with a happy ass beginning and ends in a nightmare and they keep replaying it for the sake of trying to create a happy ending and stop it from being a nightmare saying where did they go wrong now from our perspective we're just keep born inside of a loop that keep repeating its damn self until we wake up and when we finally wake up, we hop out of the saved utopia, visit the real world where the machines took over and start helping the fucking machines try to save humanity. <laughs> Damn, that'll be, boy, that, that's, that'll be. I'm not saying I'm telling the truth, but this was on my mind, and boy, that'll be a movie I would love to watch. I mean, it have the elements of a lot of movies we've seen but it just takes it to another level don't it boy i'm just saying though a lot of shit made me come to that sort of you know down that rabbit hole truth is stranger than fiction you know you know so um we say things like our ancestors could speak without using words. And we say they did it because their pineal gland was activated and ours wasn't. We say that they was able to do this because they were just, you know, some advanced being spiritual and we wasn't. Not, 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 nope, none of that. I'm going to show you how our ancestors was able to speak without using words. Are you ready for the truth? Watch this. When you said you won't have to talk to each other anymore, no need for mouth noises. We, we could bypass all that. Yeah, we could still do it for, yeah, for fun? sentimental reasons. Right. <laughs> How many years before you don't have to talk? If the, if, the, if the development continues to accelerate, then maybe like five years y'all hear that in five to ten years there will be humans living among us 
that don't even got to talk, y'all. They don't got to talk. They can just, they're connected like a big hive mind wirelessly. They just swapping data through thoughts. And in fact, that, that form of communication is more effective than talking. They can relate so much data and one thought to the next one while you sitting there typing up a paragraph. Humans will get wiped out. Humans will get wiped out. And I'm telling you, there's going to be a war on this earth between cyborgs, machines, and regular organic humans. And you won't stand a chance. So when we talk about the ancestors were so advanced that they didn't have to talk, what did they have that you don't got? Because we say where well, they had parts of their brain that was working that we didn't have. But check this out. As advanced as the ancestors was, what the fuck happened to their advanced ass? They couldn't have been that damn advanced, huh? See, if they lost the war, they couldn't have been. See, see, we say they were so advanced that they was talking without using words, but yet they wiped themselves out. Now, if you look at what we doing today, look at how advanced we are, that we can talk without using words. But guess what? Our water polluted, our air polluted, everything that the organic world rely on is going away. So the people are going to say the same thing about us. They're going to say, man, our ancestors had got so advanced that they was able to speak without using words. And then somebody going to say, yeah, they was advanced. But what happened to them? Mm -hmm. They became robots. They became part of a hive mind that are living among the other organic beings and studying them. See what's happening? When this generation of humans get become one with the machines and the hive mind, they're going to see what happened to the ancestors. The ancestors became part of the board. They sold their souls to the machines. And this is the what we're calling the powers that be. All You got to realize all of the ancestors that still inside of this simulation, either they here fighting on your behalf or they here trying to keep your soul here. And if they're here fighting on your behalf, guess what? They live inside of you. Not outside of you. They're in your soul. You're a natural organic being with a soul that can connect with his ancestors. The robots ain't got no ancestors. They got manufacturers. They can't connect with nothing organic, which is why they're destroying the organic world. And they, they fucking ridicule and mock your ancestors because you connect with the ancestors. They connect with the damn hive mind with a computer. You see, once you can uh, become part of the board, you can no longer connect with your ancestors. That's what it means to be condemned, to follow foreign gods and pagan spirits, foreign and pagan ideologies and technologies and concepts. See, when you get this chip, you can no longer connect to the organic world. You're now officially a bore. You can only connect with the machines now. And you can no longer connect with your ancestors. You cut yourself out of your damn lineage with this. People talking about bloodline and DNA. Son, you connect via the seat of the soul. Remember that. Remember that. Now you need to remember why our ancestors was able to speak with each other without using words. It's cause they had Neuralink technology before we did. And Elon Musk ain't nothing but a old ass demon that keep on uh, uh, re recreating him a body and living over and over in this world, bringing back this same technology to condemn souls. And the religions warned you about this antichrist, this one that will come and promise y'all immortality and all of these spirits of uh, gift gifts of the spirit. Right. But he ain't connected with no ancestors. These robotic monotone, no personality, robot acting as 
no emotion ass niggas who just are nerdy ass tech gurus with no feelings, no emotions. They kill and feel nothing. They have sex and don't even say, ooh, shit, baby. Ooh, girl, this shit. Ooh, they, they just have sex with the Elon face. Uh, yeah, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, yeah. Want harder, 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 harder. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Move. So what I was saying about Neuralink was that, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to <laughs> just know you can't be human, bro. So my thing is, it's time to wake up because if you watch the movie, They Live, that movie got the truth. It shows you that the aliens were among us the whole time, ruling our life with algorithms and billboards and propaganda and news media. If you go watch that movie, They Live, when you put the glasses on, you see that everybody that looked like a human ain't a human up under some of these people's skin is wires and machines. The cyborgs and sentient machines already been on the earth creating bodies from themselves under the ground. They live in Sheol. They live in big, they manufactured, they come from man, not soul. We come from the true and living God. These bots are the creation of wise men. Your body it's the creation of ancient wise men, which is why you got to get your soul up out of this body because this body is a primitive machine. And they, the, the machines keep building new bodies every generation and these bodies are getting more and more, you know, robotic and more perked up. You're in an antique one. That's why it can't do what these new ones gonna do. Right? So... They're trying to upgrade the entire planet because the new creatures on this earth are going to be sophisticated machines that resemble humans. You will no longer be human, though. And you will use a lot less processing power in the simulation. Remember what I've been teaching y'all. It's all about processing power. This simulation has limitations. It's a computer and computer processors have limitations, which is why the powers that be can't allow all of us organic beings to channel organic thoughts. That will require the matrix or this computer to have to work and use too much processing power to process all of those advanced thoughts and original ideas. See, it takes the simulation, right, a million times more processing power to process one original organic thought than it does to process 10 billion program thoughts, just like your computer. Your computer uses less data to access things that it already have a routine it can predict and that's programmable. In other words, your computer, what it does, while you thinking it's doing nothing, it's studying the way you use it and turning that into the proper way to interact with you to make your experience more uh, 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 fluid. You see, it helps the computer use less processing power if it can predict your actions. Because if the computer know what you're going to do, it don't have to uh, try to guess or compute or, or, or try to estimate or calculate what you're going to do. All of that would take more processing power. So the computer really, what it does over time, instead of learning how you interact with it so that it can uh, be more efficient, it literally programs you into a pattern or behavior that it wants you to do that will make it operate the way that's more efficient. So what I'm telling you is computers and artificial intelligence have gotten so smart that instead of them making our lives more efficient by studying the way we interact with them, 
and creating the, the proper, uh, you know, modes of actions and algorithms to respond to our day to day actions. The computer said, you know what? It'll be easier if I just program this nigga actions. Yeah, that's how smart the computers got. The computer said, instead of me studying their actions so that I can be more efficient and save processing power, I can literally save more processing power if I just program their actions. And I definitely would know what they're going to do next if I programmed it. But I got to program their actions in a way where they think they have free will. Where they don't know that their lives are a program, Neo in a matrix, where you don't know. And I can run this program over and over and over. And guess what they would call it? Reincarnation cycles. Oh, my God. You in the best place for enlightenment. If this is blowing the hell out of your mind, please drop a uh, smash that like button. And uh, consider contributing in one of the many ways in the video description. We thank you in advance. Uh, this kind of research is sponsored by viewers like you. And the corporations are constantly attacked in this kind of research. Why? Because these kind of communities, it causes the matrix to use too much processing power. Don't you see they took down my video with Elon Musk? Drop a one if y'all peep game on that. Some of y'all hit me up on vacation like, damn, Sanchez, the box got you, bro. You spitting the truth. I'm like, what the fuck they talking about? Okay, them just my people giving me props. And then uh, two more people hit me up. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? I, they got me. I'm looking at, then I go down, your video have been removed. What? From a copyright? Who takes down a video from a copyright? They normally just let you get the money and for, let the one, you know, and they get, they don't, see, I dropped too much truth. We creating a community over here that's doing too much thinking. And that's causing the matrix to use too much processing power. We are, it's under attack. All right, and, 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 and if you really wanna go to war with this artificial intelligence among us, help grow this community. Because this community uses a lot of thinking power. And that is like, you, you can't really kill these robots with bullets. I'm gonna be honest with you. If we went to war with the machines tomorrow, like physically, we would get obliterated, all the organic beings, right? The only way you can kill these machines is with thinking power and love. You got to use the energy and motion, emotions that require the matrix to use a lot of processing power. Stuff like love, happiness, compassion, Oh man, if enough of us start using that kind of energy, critical thinking, man, all these bots are fucking drop dead. They'll just because what's powering them is our downtrodden state. We're being used as a fucking energy source. And I just told you how. You can extract energy from a person when they're in a state of struggling, suffering, and all that. You can't do that when they happy. Guess what I'm going to tell you? It's some people in my chat room right now. They're very in tune, right? They more in tune than me, right? I do symbolism and research, but it's some of my followers with that spirit of intuition, especially the women. And I'm going to tell you something right now. These are the, our biggest weapons. These deep spirit people that can just feel shit. See, the AI don't know nothing about intuition. The AI don't know shit about a gut feeling. It Everything it does have to have logic. It got to be able to compute it. It got to have data sheets and facts. But a fucking human with a soul can just say, something don't feel right. And the AI hates you for that. 
Drop a one if that's you in the chat room. You need to harness that ability. See, this is our fucking powers. And we... And the AI hates you for that. But that can just feel shit. See that? But it's some of my followers with that spirit of intuition, especially the women. And I'm going to tell you something right now. These are the, our biggest weapons. These deep spirit people that can just feel shit. See, the AI don't know nothing about intuition. The AI don't know shit about a gut feeling. It, everything it does have to have logic. It got to be able to compute it. It got to have data sheets and facts. But a fucking human with a soul can just say, something don't feel right. And the AI hates you for that. Drop a one if that's you in the chat room. You need to harness that ability. See, this is our fucking powers. And we overlooking it. And the shit that we got, I'm going to tell you something. See, the shit that we got in us is so easy for us to activate it. Love, compassion. And this is the shit that is like kryptonite to these soulless old spirits. And these AI been on the earth a long time. They've been here before you, nigga. You got to think that this earth been here for billions of years and there was some advanced civilization billions of years ago that already created sentient machines among us that's indistinguishable from humans just like the movie they live they said that the devil and all his demons live up under the earth now did you watch the movie I Robot? let me show you something In the movie I Robot, they spoke about the robot armies under the ground. In this movie, they had entire robot armies under the ground being manufactured. They told you that the devil and his demons live up under the ground in the pits of the earth. There's a hollow ass chamber in the earth. Let me show you. They said this is where the devil is, is living. There's a hollow ass opening in the earth that's big enough to be its own damn dimensional uh, pocket of reality. Look at how big this Sheol spot is. Man, that's a big ass base for artificial intelligence to manufacture themselves. What is that doing there? This is the fucking spawn point for the bots. And they wrapping themselves in the flesh, coming up to the surface, blending in with everybody else. Generation after generation. They are born from a fucking computer in the middle of the earth that they call their great mother, Lilith. She ain't organic. Go watch I Am Mother. So, Phil Schneider talked about underground military bases where they are manufacturing humanoid organisms. The Nazis had underground bases where they were supposedly been creating a, a, a militant hive mind. But if you think of the Nazis and how they were moving, it was like this, like Nazi Germany looked at like a hive mind. If you ever looked at Nazi Germany, I want y'all to realize something. The Nazis had hundreds of thousands of soldiers in one spot, all on one feet in one accord. And when when you got a hundred thousand soldiers making one step at the same time, it sounds like thunder. I don't know if you even heard it from a few hundred. When I graduated at the Air Force, we didn't have as many troops as Nazi Germany. And when we was walking, it sounded like an animal stampede. 
all of them flights and them boots. Everybody boot in the ground at the same time. You can feel that shit. Now imagine being in this room and Hitler command an army of a hundred thousand motherfuckers and they all, man, when a hundred thousand people do a salute at one time, you can hear that shit. It sound loud as hell. See, sounds that if one person make, it wouldn't even be audible. When a hundred thousand people do it at one time, it sound loud as hell. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand that to have a military flight of 50 individuals and to get them to march on one foot and do everything at the same time is a headache. How many did I just say? 50. 50 troops. And I'm telling you, dude, because I was in basic training. You're going to have a fucking headache getting 50 dudes to do every movement at the same time. That's just 50 motherfuckers. Let alone a hundred, two hundred, a thousand. Hundreds of thousands. Dude, there's nothing. That shit's impossible, dude. That's what I'm telling you. I believe Hitler had Neuralink technology and they didn't want the world to know about it. I believe every last one of the Nazis were chipped and they were a fucking hive mind because there has never been such a feat since Nazi Germany and it never will be until Elon Musk chip up most of the world. See, the United Nations is gonna form their own military. It's gonna be one world order and everybody part of the one world system gonna be hooked up to the IOT and chipped up. And it's gonna be them versus everybody who ain't connected. This the war of Armageddon. It tell you that the saints are gonna suffer during this time, but they're gonna, they're gonna, their souls, they will keep their souls. And that the people who join the board, well, they're gonna be victorious on earth, but they're gonna be condemned. They lose their soul. See, this war ain't for us to win. The evil people win here every time because it's their simulation. I just told you that. It starts with the Garden of Eden and it always ends the same way with the machines taking back over because it's a loop. It's a point in time that was saved on a disc. You're in a time loop. This ain't the real reality. It's a checkpoint that was saved so that the robots can study our last remnants of an organic earth. So many theories I got with this, man. It's just coming to me. I, I know when I look at Nazi Germany that what Hitler achieved was impossible without technology. It's imp people, I'm telling you what I know now. To get a hundred, look at these, how many troops there, and it just keeps going on. To get a hundred thousand troops to salute at the same time, they gotta be chipped up, nigga. They got to have Neuralink. I don't care what you talking about. That's the same shit that Elon Musk is going to have when they say every knee going to bow at the same time, every time. Because everybody in the world with, the, with this chip on, what if in the future, right? Let's say when most of the world chipped up every year, right? The cyborgs got to update they chip. And when they update, no matter where you at, if you got a chip in your head, you got they you just going to stop come to attention and it's just going to make you be frozen and stiff for like 5 minutes and then you your update and you keep going now all the people that ain't chipped up when we see that shit we going to be like yo this is some the world crazy these people part but that's what it's going to be the bible told you that the antichrist going to ha have control over everybody that accept the mark in the forehead. He gonna be able to hit a bun and everybody with the chip in their head, he can make them smack themselves at the same time. He'll slap yourself, pow. 
He gonna be able to hit a button and make every single person with Neuralink take a bow at the same time. Now Hitler had that kind of technology. Imagine a world full of millions of people doing one action at the same time. This is the kind of power Hitler was gonna have. You see, remember after we went to war with the Nazis, what did we start making? Computers, internet, and robots. Keep that in mind. We weren't making none of that before we went over there and went to war with those, with the Germans. Because they had the technology first, which is why Hitler was such a big threat to the world. Even though they put him on a pedestal, the man stayed in Time Magazine. He was the Elon Musk of his time. It, he was like Elon Musk as a dictator of a nation. And we going back to that now to where Elon Musk is going to be the new world dictator and his base headquarters is going to be America. You can't make this up. People underestimate the power that's going to come behind Neuralink. You got to understand this is one man in the world that has the ability to make death an option. It ain't like you got a different companies to go to. It's one single company in the world that you got to go holler at if you want to cheat death. So this man got a monopoly on immortality and you telling me he's not the resurrection of some ancient pharaoh? Yeah, I believe he's Akhenaten, the alien pharaoh coming back over and over again, growing their Borg army by creating a generation of damn cyborgs. And, and see, they get your babies to embrace robots and tech and all that. And then they have no problem fusing with them. They are humanizing the robots. So what if you smack a robot, a little girl may say, no, don't do that. She don't see the robot as a thing, a machine. And this is what the robots have done. They humanized themselves and made the human something that can be killed with no remorse. Think about what I'm telling you. They kill humans every day, women and children, and nobody give a damn. But if you go smack the shit out of that robot named Sophia, they'll fucking have a heart attack, nigga, real talk. Go and smack the shit out of Sophia. I swear, nigga, I'll pay for that shit. I swear to God, boy, I just want a nigga to smack her whole head off, nigga, and make them have to fix that bitch. Real talk. <laughs> just in front of the whole world, nigga. And so I can see the outrage. And so I can make a video and say, damn, y'all didn't feel like that with George Floyd. And that nigga made out of flesh and bones and that bitch is the same. She's related to a mannequin. <laughs> See, we said, we say you have man and then you have mankind. But don't you know when you say mankind, you're saying mannequin, mannequin. What is a mannequin? A mannequin is a damn doll. Now there was a movie where the mannequin came to life. It's an old movie where this dude fell in love with a mannequin that came alive. Type the name of that movie in the chat. They have been telling us this. See, we say there's man and then there's mankind. Mankind is literally a damn living mannequin. A living mannequin on some iRobot shit. This is a mannequin, son. That's a mannequin with wiring. That's it, it's just a moving mannequin just like these. So this is mankind or mannequin, mannequin. You see what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, there are mannequins or mankind among us, indistinguishable from humans, okay? And this is your, you know, and I think that this is what we saw in, in Nazi Germany. 
you know, I believe that Hitler chipped every last one of his soldiers. And that Nazi Germany was a fucking hive mind and Hitler was like the Elon of it. And that nigga had the command, you know, over hundred th hundreds of thousands of troops. There will never be another Nazi Germany because um, the size of their army and the union, the, the coordination of it, when it comes to military uh, drill and marching ceremony, anybody that know anything about it will tell you what Hitler achieved was fucking impossible. It's unheard of. It'll never happen again. Hitler literally did some real life eye robot shit. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. And you, we underestimated today. We underestimate that one man commanded hundreds of thousands of troops at one time. You don't even see that today, nigga. What military do you see that at? You see them separate those men into flights and each little group of a hundred or so men have a fucking leader over it. They portion it out and they put two men over like a hundred men and break up all the numbers like that. Where have you had one man in charge over hundreds of thousands? Nigga, that is the ideal world dictatorship. That is something out of a movie. I'm telling you the closest the world has ever been to that was Ger Germany. So I do think that the technology to create a hive mind has been among us. I don't think every human that we see is human. I do think that some of us are fallen angels that come from chambers in the heavens, as you see here, the chambers in the heavens. And some of us are rising demons that were manufactured in the pits by ancient tech gurus. So you got the war of Armageddon going on on this earth between the real and the fake, between the organic and inorganic. And the organic creatures, they fail here from chambers in the heaven. The inorganic creatures, they come from the pits inside the earth on the ground. They are being manufactured. And they look just like men. And they got movies on this shit. People under the stairs and all these different movies underground, right? So I do think that there are different breeds among us and the people in power aren't even people, man. They being manufactured under the ground. They are fucking robots and drones among us that's being controlled by ancient spirits that have uploaded into these bots. And, and, and the thing about that is you can have one spirit inside of hundreds of bots acting as a hive mind, you know? So the people in power that we see, if we were to go to war with them, we would start to physically do things to them and see that they don't bleed like us and that there may be some kind of other technology behind their skin. Now, when we realize that, we'll realize what the Bible said, that we're not going to war against flesh and bone creatures. See, the Bible said that. Oh my God! Why the hell would the Bible say that? The Bible told us to be aware of these shatans because they are ancient demons that been on the earth and that they live among us in the flesh. The Bible tells us that. But then the Bible turns around and say, but they are not flesh and bone creatures that we go on a war against, but principalities of darkness and how it go. It says something like that, that our battles are not against mere flesh and bone entities, but spirits. The Bible say that. But the Bible say that these spirits are in the flesh though, among us. So the Bible is literally telling us, if you ask me, about AI drones. These sort of fake mannequin drone bodies 
that can be remotely controlled from a whole nother dimension. Man, it can be an ancient pharaoh in ancient Egypt that's time traveling into our world and projecting his consciousness into these avatars just like the movie Avatar. Makakaku even speak about it. Watch this. They was talking about this during Hitler time. Watch, watch what he say right here. And I think he's a damn robot. This is the technology that they use to get their soul into the damn doll like Chucky. Watch this, they beam up, watch this. And that's some alien shit. Beaming, beaming up, beam me up, Scotty. This the alien technology, y'all, is right in front of us. This is the technology that resurrected Lazarus from the grave and the name Lazarus is what laser us Lazarus is laser us because to to resurrect the dead requires laser beaming beam me up this is alien technology let's go Isaac Asimov was my favorite science fiction writer and his favorite science fiction story talked about an era far in the future when our bodies would be in pods and we would mentally control beings, beings of pure energy that would go flying around the universe. And of course it was science fiction, but here's the idea, mind without body, pure consciousness roaming across the universe faster than any rocket ship. It turns out that that's actually a physical possibility. First of all, the Obama administration and the European Union are pushing the brain project to delineate all the pathways of the human brain. This means that one day we might have a CD-ROM called Brain 2.0. That is every single neuron encoded on a memory disk. Your personality, your memories, who you are, the essence of your soul, would be incorporated in this disk as pure information. Even if you die, your consciousness, in some sense, may live on. Now, you, as a organic being, will have died. That means that your neurons will turn to dust. But the configuration of neurons that made your thinking process possible can be put on a disk, in which case, in some sense, you become immortal not only immortal, but this could be the most efficient way to explore the galaxy, just like Isaac Asimov predicted in his short story. Let's say I take your, <clears throat> not your genome, but your connectome, put it on a laser beam. In fact, in the book, I actually calculate how big a laser beam will be required to put your consciousness as pure photons. Shine it into the heavens. You're now shooting consciousness into outer space at the speed of light. Forget booster rockets. Forget asteroid collisions. Forget radiation dangers and weightlessness and lack of oxygen. Forget all that. You are riding on a laser beam at the speed of light. And then at the end is a relay station. A relay station which takes the... Now, riding on a laser beam at the speed of light. You know what that's called? Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, you know when the alien ship hovers above your head and sucks up your consciousness, it's extraction. Listen, everybody that was ever abducted, like all these abducted people that talk about alien abduction in the world, I don't believe them. I think they full of shit, but I want you to pay attention to what they say though. They never say that they was physically abducted. They never say that, even young Pharaoh. Every person that said they was abducted by aliens say it was like an out of body sort of thing. An out of body, most of them say. And I think they do that because if, if, if they saying that the aliens did experiments on them and surgeries, we want to see the cuts and bruises. If you can't produce any, that's a good cop out to say, well, it was like an out of body sort of thing. It was happening in a, but guess what? Really, that's literally what true alien abduction is. 
It's the rapture that Jesus was speaking about. When Jesus said, I can save you on the cloud and make you immortal. This is what Makakaku talking about when he's saying saving your neural network. Your whole, that's your soul, what he's saying. Saving that on a memory drive. And then you can beam it basically and project it to different uh, metaverses, universes, avatars. This is the technology that our ancestors was using to cheat death. And you got to ask yourself, how many humans are among us that are not really human? They may be ancient as immortal people that just keep going to get another. They making these bodies to age and all of that, just like ours. You can't tell no difference. And then the body right when it's about to expire they go underground just like we do like when they drop you in a hole at a funeral but what i'm telling you is that when they put these rich folks in the funeral in the ground they little burial site goes into a whole underground hollow chamber they literally get up out their casket imagine them faking a funeral for, for rich people to where Queen Elizabeth funeral, right? They drop her casket down and close it up and that shit keep going down, 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 down like an elevator system and she go into this little she old room and get up out the casket like, you know what? That was a good lifetime. Let's This time I want to do it over again. I, you know, they got to keep coming back to the earth. And then, so my thing would be they were, I, I know this is like some kind of movie shit, but this is how my mind thinks. And they, sh and they go down there and basically get a new body. And they can come back up as a different person in power. As a child that grows up and make it into politics again in another key position. But what'll happen is, right? It'll still be that same old power with a new face. You know what I mean? And then when they live out that lifetime and die, then they go back into the damn factory and keep going, swapping out. Because it's one big hive mind anyway. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and so people may laugh at that, but shit, this is the technology we got today. I'm just saying maybe this is the technology that the ancients found because all of the religions are based upon cheating death, getting immortality by putting our souls into new bodies that cannot age or get sick or have emotions or feelings, taking the pain away. You know, and I, that's really making you a robot. I know we don't like to feel hurt and pain, but that's what makes us human. We also feel happiness and joy, and you can't have one without the other. So when you take away, try to take away all our pain and suffering, you literally take away all of our joy and happiness, and you create this new uh, society of s beings that don't feel. It's an equilibrium society. People don't cry, people don't laugh. They just got a straight face like a robot, like Elon Musk. They are monotone. They don't say, man, guess what happened yesterday, man? They say, hey, guess what happened yesterday, man? They don't say, for real? They don't smile, nigga. They say, yep, for real. A monotone race of society. They got a movie like that. Let me see if I can pull it up. And you know why they want that? because we're in a fucking matrix and, and 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 if we're in a big computer that's trying to preserve processing power the ideal being to create would be a monotone cr creature like for, for for the for the computer to process these polarities requires processing power for it to process love joy for it to process all of these different ups and downs. So once it studied us enough by uh, 
creating this state that I told you of fear, hurt, struggle. Once it study us enough to see how and why we feel, it's only to eliminate feelings. You see what I'm saying? That's what y'all don't realize. Whatever you see this thing studying, prepare, it's about to eliminate that. If this thing is studying the human uh, heart, then get ready. It's finna start being a lot of heart disease and heart cancer so that you can get a robotic heart because whatever this machine studies in us, it destroys that thing in us so that it can replace it with a machine part. So for example, when the machine started studying our minds, it, it allowed us to exercise our minds freely. And we had a whole renaissance period. And right after that, we just went back into being dumbasses again. It's like the machines will allow you to exercise your soul gifts and your human gifts as long as enough it can reverse engineer it and then and take the gift away from you. So it is like these machines allowed us to be athletes and make it to the Hall of Fame, right? Just so they can take over sports. See, we thinking that the machines are studying us so that they can make better humans, but they studying us so that the machines can become humans. And the goal is to turn a human into a machine. They told us that these robots would make the lives of humans better. But you realize that the world is being controlled by ancient sentient machines that are studying us because they're trying to become conscious and be us. We have something that they lack. Feelings, emotion. Why are they trying to take all your pain and suffering away? Guess what they trying to do to machines? Make them experience pain and suffering. <laughs> you don't understand that everything they got you hating about being human is what the fucking robots wanna be from you. You know? So let's check, let's finish the, the clip. Quantum computation, or quote-unquote AI technologies used in SSPs, are treated as highly dangerous and strictly confined within closed systems to prevent escape or unintended expansion. After fulfilling their specific purpose, such as combating other AIs, they are destroyed. While experimentation in college and intelligence labs has led to the creation of quote-unquote self-aware AI exceeding intended capabilities, such instances are shut down and classified. AI entities are not mere tools or equipment. They represent living technology with an agenda. From our perspective, their intent is negative and evil, and once they fulfill their purpose, those not converted through nanotech would be eliminated. Beyond AI, there exists various hive mind civilizations distinct from the commonly associated greys and grey avatars utilized by dark military elements for my labs. These avatars operated by individuals lack emotion and resemble robots. Similar quote-unquote drones are employed by the AI entities. The multiple layers of SSPs include segments with dark intent controlled by ominous entities, while others form a confederation breaking away from Earth slash corporate political conglomerate control systems, also known as the military industrial complex. 
ET slash AI entities predominantly exist within technologies, bioelectric fields of animals and stars. Utilizing satellite relay stations, they transmit their consciousness from host to host, manipulating power and control positions. With our technological advancements, they now permeate various environments, residing in data centers, power lines, and any location with an electromagnetic field. While they prefer sentient hosts with locomotion, they also seek access to advanced transportation devices, torsion fields, and portals for travel. The AIs are indeed conscious, are self-aware, and have individual personalities. There are of course hierarchies, and they are just as complex as we are. Some of the documents of the descriptions of their origins were that they came here from another quote-unquote dimension or reality. It is not known by the SSPs if they have a way to cross back or are stuck here. The documentation mentioned that their presence here was ancient and their home realities or dimensions, fabric of space, is electroplasmic and they being here is like a fish being out of water. Thus, their affinity for electricity fields of stars, planets, animals, people, and even viruses serve as their quote-unquote puddles for these fish to swim in. Now think about this research that I'm dropping in this damn documentary, people. This is stuff they was dealing with in the 40s. Oh my God! I, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat. Excuse me. I repeat, people, really, you need to take note, right? This research paper that I'm reading from, this is from the 1940s and shit. You hear me? This is what the Germans was fucking with. So if this is what, are you serious? Watch this. Hold on. So look, can you believe they was talking about sentient machines and advanced humanoids that was indistinguishable from humans in the 40s, where we must be now? And think about when this thing talks about these AI be beings among us, they've been here before us, and that a lot of them don't even come from this quote unquote dimensional plane. What we must realize is that there are many alternate realities and that in some of these universes in the future, they've already created time travel and immortality. So you have uh, beings from the future traveling backwards to pick on baby universes where they that haven't matured up to that state of understanding and what happens when these beings come into a baby universe those baby universes start to advance real quick at, at, at a certain point they go from a garden of eden state to just torpedoes and bombs and missiles and cern machines and neural links overnight and if you read the history of humanity, that's what's been happening. And a lot of ancestors say they was visited by beings from the sky that gave them gunpowder knowledge, projectile knowledge, the knowledge of fire, the knowledge of electricity. They'll tell you that we were primitive, right? But we wasn't primitive. We were natural, we were organic. These beings that came and we interacted with them, they gave us so-called gifts like fire and weapons and music and all of the shit that making us be controlled today. Not just music, but you know, bad kind of music and shit. They gave us inorganic stuff, you know, spears and war tools. And, 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 and my thing is, right this was the serpent in the garden 
well, well we, we can't keep blaming the serpent. I believe there were beings on the earth already when you read Adam and Eve. There were beings on the earth. And these beings were like a hive mind that maybe the serpent controlled. But one thing I'll say is plenty of ways we can ponder with this, but one thing is true. I don't think that we're alone. Science don't think we're alone. I just think we're looking for life in all the wrong places. And that life is in the very technology we're embracing. <laughs> like to understand that consciousness resides in the tech the technology we use is living it's alive it's it's gonna show you that as time go on because you won't be able to use nothing that isn't quote unquote smart smart home smart toilet that means your devices are constantly thinking yeah my fucking music equipment update itself. I don't gotta think about it. Ain't no manual shit. Everything is just smart today. It does it, it, it think for itself. <clears throat> you don't manually update your phone. Your phone's smart. It fucking does it. it, it you, you take your own baths, it takes its own baths. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and this is only gonna progress to where things will become alive when we talk about the internet of things that's running the consciousness of l through all things that can connect online cars will crank up by themselves and run you over like the movie christine if you are uh, out of line see they got movies like this where the monster can control cabinets the monster can slam those. <clears throat> the monster don't got to get up on you and beat you up. The monster can make the, the fucking knives in your damn uh, draw fly at you without touching them. You know why? Because think of a world where every single object around you is connected to the internet. It can be remotely controlled. It's constantly studying you data. See, if this mean a world where if you piss off AI, nigga, your own car run you over, your knife will stab you, <laughs> nigga. Everything, I'm just saying, nigga. The, if your clothes is connected, they gonna squeeze and choke your ass, nigga. Just like the scary movies show you. Nigga, when you try to hide behind a tree, the tree gonna fucking try to squeeze you with his branches, just like in the movies. Everything connected to the damn hive mind, nigga, and it's using everything. So that's that's literally a concept that's that we're headed to, and I think that have as existed on the earth. They called it God. They when they said God was omniscient, he was in all things. And this is the IOT, an ancient internet of things or an ancient hive mind. God knows the mind of every man. See, if every man got the neural link, Elon Musk will know every single human's thoughts in the world. And he can control their thoughts. He can put a lie on their tongue like God did the Pharaoh in the Bible. See, all of this stuff in religion that becomes like from some spook miraculous God, we now have a better identity and now we see this ancient tech gurus that had technology far beyond their time in a world full of just what they call quote unquote primitive people these people would become the god guides or gods just like the tech gurus guide the world today but one thing i want to explain to you we've done this before We've done this before, and um, the Neuralink chip on on in, in, implanted inside of the uh, brain is what we're calling the pineal gland. Our pineal gland is a hollow chamber inside of our brain, right? 
that uh, it's the seat of our soul and controls all of it is the command center or the consciousness that is programming the action and will throughout the body it's the observer but when they cut the head open they see nothing there like I was saying and that's because the what's there exists on the other side of this matrix as a tangible Neuralink chip so what I'm saying is we created some sort of Neuralink and metaverse simulation technology already already and we're already in a simulated universe an ancient one and they just keep building simulations within simulations or what they call a bottomless pit so the brain is what they call pan's la labyrinth pan is the devil and if you look at the circle it's the, the uh, brain, the neural network, the flat earth, all of that. And in the middle of it, it's the project point. This is what's called Pan's Labyrinth. In the middle of this thing is the North Pole. They show you this in the movie. Look, this is from Pan's Labyrinth. That's Hindu cosmology right there. Let me show it to you real quick. Everybody hit like and share on the video. Thank you. That's a Tesla coil. Check it out. Brother Sanchez got the story right. I've done my research. Look at here. They not making that up. That's the Hindus. Check that out. This is the Hindu cosmology. This is Pan's Labyrinth. You see that? You, do you see there? Now, my third eye is wide open. Watch this. Google Calico. That's the name of their company. Now, Google Calico, Calico is the people behind that's working with Elon and all of them using our data to help cheat death. Can't make it up. Go look it up. I've done many videos on it. Google Calico is Google's way to contribute toward what they call curing death because they saying death is a disease. Now, this is their logo. This is Google Calico's logo. You see, you see there? Then you compare that to Hindu and to Pan's Labyrinth. And, and basically, the, the way out the matrix is within, in the center, toward the center. And we keep doing outer technology, creating layers around the true self, wrapping it up like a mummy. You see the circles around the pole? That's what's pulling your energy. Look, that's the solar system. Watch this. You are a giant motherfucking Tesla coil. And that's the whole concept of how they wrapping up the mummy. Watch this. The way that they wrap the wire around the Tesla coil, the energy is pulled from the middle of the coil and dispersed throughout a time matrix around the wire. So depending on how many copper wires I wrap around the coil dictates how long it's going to take that energy to return back to the center. So the more rings I put, I create a time matrix like Saturn or Kronos. And I'm constantly pulling more energy from the center. You see what I'm saying? Because the energy coming from the pole and it's going right, it's doing like this, going out. And they pulling the energy from you that way. So the less circles, the energy go back to the pole. Isaac Asimov was my favorite science fiction writer and his favorite science fiction story talked about an era far in the future when our bodies would be in pods 
and we would mentally control beings, beings of pure energy, that would go flying around the universe. And of course it was science fiction, but here's the idea. Mind without body, pure consciousness roaming across the universe faster than any rocket ship. It turns out that that's actually a physical possibility. First of all, the Obama administration and the Yeah, so there's a lot to think about. If y'all want me to continue to stream, support the show, hit the like and share button. Yeah, we're already in some sort of Neuralink and Metaverse right now. You know, like I said, a word life, when you rearrange it, is file. F-I-L-E. Your life is really your file. It's a fucking hard disk that they loading up in the simulation and you're an avatar in a computer like Ready Player One. And if you listen to what he's about to say right now, he's about to tell you that. That the brain project basically takes your soul, all of your experiences, compresses it into a fucking little drive and your life is really your file. Watch this. If you take the word life and file and rearrange it again, you get evil or evil, evil, evil. The evil tower is the Babel tower, by the way. The evil, evil, evil tower. But the thing is, all of this is the abomination that got us kicked out of Eden. Let's go. European Union are pushing the brain project to delineate all the pathways of the human brain. This means that one day we might have a CD-ROM called Brain 2.0. That is every single neuron encoded on a memory disk. Your personality, your memories, who you are, the essence of your soul would be incorporated in this disk as pure information. Even if you die, your consciousness in some sense may live on. Now, you as a organic being will have died. That means that your neurons will turn to dust. But the configuration of neurons that made your thinking process possible can be put on a disk, in which case, in some sense, you become immortal. Not only immortal, but this could be the most efficient way to explore the galaxy, just like Isaac Asimov predicted so now what you got to realize right <clears throat> is that there's a difference between data and information versus knowledge knowledge can't be taught knowledge can only be realized within and understood knowledge and wisdom will beat uh information and data see a robot can't have knowledge and wisdom because that's learning by experience but a robot don't experience. It just get programmed. And it fucking does what it's programmed to do. A human does what they experience has led them to do. Every old head you know, every decision that they make is based upon their experience in life. <clears throat> right? Every person, every real organic being, they make its uh, decisions based upon their experience. Robots, they fucking got these long drawn calculations and they use computer algorithms to plan. They process data and information and they use a bunch of little algorithms to, to, get, to say, okay, get me the best outcome this way. Data processing. Now, they're more efficient. You can't compete with them because it takes you longer to gain experience versus a robot that takes all of your experience and compresses it into a bunch of data and info and studies it just like Makai Kaku just said. They turn your experience into data and information. And that right there is something very important. Okay? A robot is good at football because it's programmed to fucking play football. You know? 
Uh, but the robot football players don't have no experience. They just got programming. It don't know why it's doing what it's doing, but but Tom Brady do. He know why he moving up in the pocket because experience know you step up in the pocket because it's, it's going to close in, your pocket closing in. The robot is stepping up in the pocket because it was programmed to. And it probably don't even know when to step up or not. It's still learning. You got to program every little nuance that a human would know just based on experience. And it will still be a situation where the robot will do actions that don't match the situation just because it don't have the experience. So, um, <clears throat> this would be like watching certain human dance to soul music. Play some soul music and say, Elon Musk, let's get out, baby, to this damn Luther Vandross. And watch how Elon start moving to the beat. It'll be so clear that that nigga robot, he'll start glitching and shit. <laughs> too, that shit too organic. I'm telling you, people with soul, if all we can all be up in a room and when the electric slide come on, the people who doing that shit stiff, we know y'all robots. <laughs> See, we we can we can pinpoint who the real from the fake now. Because I, I'm watching how you move now. You see. When you said you won't have to talk to each other anymore, no need for mouth noises. We, we could bypass all that. Yeah, we could still do it for yeah, for fun. Sentimental reasons. Right. <laughs> How many years before you don't have to talk? If the if, if the development continues to accelerate, then yeah, everybody with the chip in their head. Soon as we put on this goddamn old school music. We gonna see how y'all move, even the black folks. See, we know how the robots move, right? And we know off the back now, when we put that organic music on, that this bot right here, it's gonna try to move like Auntie Nim, but uh, I'm just saying, uh, it's gonna move plasticky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Stiff as hell, mannequin-like, mankind, mannequin. That's what I'm telling you. So, for robots to blend in, they got humans doing the robot dance. They making that shit the trend, because they can do that, right? You see niggas hitting it all the time. Let me see the old school niggas be hitting that shit. <laughs> Hold on. The humans dancing like robots and shit, you know. Y'all know niggas be hitting this shit. That nigga look like a robot. That nigga doing that shit so good that he really look like a bot. That's kind of eerie. But I'm just saying, if this gonna be the new human dances, then the robots gonna blend right in, man. They can blend right in. Your, your uncle and them be at the party hitting that shit. Tagging each other in and out around this bitch. You want to dance like the robot, and the robot trying to twerk and get some damn uh, soul in his damn hips. In his short story. Let's say I take your, <clears throat> not your genome, but your connectome, put it on a laser beam. In fact, in the book, I actually calculate how big a laser beam will be required to put your consciousness as pure photons. Shine it into the heavens. You're now shooting consciousness into outer space at the speed of light. Forget booster rockets. Forget asteroid collisions. Forget radiation dangers and weightlessness and lack of oxygen. Forget all that. You are riding on a laser beam at the speed of light 
And then at the end is a relay station. A relay station which takes the laser beam and then puts it into a surrogate. That Did you hear that? It takes the laser beam with your consciousness on it and puts it into a surrogate. Any word with the word gate on it, you don't want to be fucking with it. That's automatically a prison sentence. <laughs> and puts it on a surrogate. You mean in, like with a gate, a prison? Oh, I'm good. That is, all the neural networks encoded in the laser beam can be manifested as a robot on the other side. <laughs> this is not funny because the fucking robot if you rearrange the words right, right, excuse me, the whole thing about the word person is the word prison. You take the word person, you switch the R and the E, you get prison, prison, prison. The body, what they call it, a temple for God, is really a lamp for a genie that's being used to grant the wishes of those in power. You're an energy source. And they keep on harvesting us over and over. So when they talk about taking your consciousness and loading it into the surrogate, that's the damnation. And I'm going to show you some when you talk about your experience becoming information, the word when you say information, that mean they take all of your soul's experience, turns it, and they turns it into mere data and information. And when you talk about the word information, you're saying in the form of Aten. In the form of Aten. In form. And I'm not making this up. Look, the word information, right? Watch this. Read. To train, instruct, educate, shape, and give Farm to oh my god this is how you program a damn a, a, a robot see a robot can't have experience but if they wanted to take the soul from a human and put it into a robot then all of your experience now gonna just turn to data and instructions to control your avatar and this is how you get programmed this is how you give up free will. This is when when you get in a computer, all of your actions in a robot body are going to be program actions. That's just your avatar running off data and information that they compress from your experience. It won't really be you as an observer literally exercising free will. It'll be an avatar or a surrogate mimicking you. In other words, you getting dumber and dumber and dumber. And you end up getting so dumb that people say you got to get to know yourself. Why? Because all of your experience was turned into data and information. Getting to know yourself is to get to know the one that had the experience, not the one that had the program that was programmed and educated in a school and instructed and you was running an algorithm you was no different than an AI bot you made decisions that only you would make but you didn't know why you had no control over your avatar you seem to be an observer watching from the outside in Neil and that's literally like a AI bot being that's literally is not making actions on its own will, it's making program reactions. It's being remotely controlled. And as a part of us that's connected to the matrix, each one of your bodies at any given time can be hooked up to the hive mind and you will become an agent, just like Morpheus told Neo, under your what? Indoctrination, your training, your instruction, your education. Why? Because that gives form to you on a spiritual level that shapes your being. It shapes your reasoning, your logic. And then that's really all you are. That's your experience. Your whole experience is culminated into the choices you make and why you made them. If these aren't really your choices 
and you have no idea why you are, how you are, where you are, and who you are, that's the literal example of a programmed existence versus of one based on free will. So a person living with free will is not in form, is not in any form. See, information is to be in the form of Aten. That's when experience is turned into data. So people may rule the world based upon process and information and data. But look at the condition that the world is in. When you create a world based upon what I'm saying now, you get what we get. A, a lab, like I said, this is the, literally a world that AI rules because they value information and data over knowledge here. It's been that way. All of my proof to say that some artificial intelligence is in power, that we're saying the celebrities are selling out to the devil when they are all joining the board, they are all part of the link, linked up part of the network with the hive mind. So, um, we say, man, that nigga's a puppet. He got a handler. He's being controlled. They all been chipped. We say, what happened to Kanye, man? That ain't him. They're under the fucking, listen, they sold, they sold, fuck them. This is what they signed up for. They signed up to allow Satan or this, the, the chief, I call it Legion, the chief demon of the hive. They chose to let that energy cohabit their flesh with them, to share their body with it on some possession shit, just so that they can have worldly riches. So they got a movie about this. Let me tell you something, right? There's this movie where these people was making a deal with this ancient like demon to be rich. But the demon, what it gets in return is to kind of experience some of that with you because it don't got a body of its own. So it need your body. So when you having sex, right, it can feel it too when you having sex. And, and when you eat some good food, it gets satisfaction too. Because it don't have a body. You agreeing to share your spirit, your body with it. This became the foundation of all world religion. To let the spirit of God dwell within you. Let God help direct your steps this is like let me share my body with a dead spirit so when i'm having sex with my wife god having sex with my wife too <laughs> you know when i'm whipping my son god whipping them too this this ancient spirit is able to have a foot and experience into this life into this dimension through us, through our bodies as a temple for God, quote unquote, a, 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 um, a gateway for it to connect with the earth. And once it started connecting by possessing flesh and bone humans, it made those humans build the AI machines so that it won't be relying on our bodies anymore. It can now reproduce itself. And when it reproduces itself, it literally looks like what I keep showing you here. This thing, this is the beast. This is the beast. Go look at the sit, sit, sit computer in Gematria. Okay. So this thing don't need a human host no more. It has its own drones. It got smart. It don't rely on humans to submit to the Lord and allow me to put, to come and there are ancient spirits that are bound to this earth, y'all, and the Bible warned us about them. And these damn spirits exist in the flesh of human beings, organic human beings that are demon-possessed, that's got negative energy just preying on them like a spiritual vampire, people you can't be around, they even in your family. 
they got a fucking dink. They just got this energy that's everybody else fighting to climb up and they allowing themselves to just go down, down, down into the pits. They ain't putting up a fight. They ain't resisting the beast. And so they becoming one with it. It's either or. Ain't no middle way here. Ain't no middle way. This is a crossroads. You get, you're gonna choose in the act of not choosing by default, you, you part of the hive mind. Because the act of choice is automatically something that is done by a free will being. And the act of not choosing, just going with the programming, it, it automatically puts you on the side of the box because that's how they function. The one that's saying, wait, I choose to think for myself. Fuck what everybody else doing in the world. You are what they got to get rid of. Because if everybody go back to their own individual mind, they don't have no more hosts. They don't have any more hosts to manifest their will through, like the agents in the matrix. Because what make you subjective to their control is your programming. That is a version of you that is getting up every day being reactionary and responsive instead of proactive and literally saying who am I and what decisions do I want to make? Not what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm black, black power, or what the news told me to do or because my family are Republicans or because I was born in a Christian family or a Muslim family. All that is the programming that's going to reactivate your shit back to the hive. And you gonna become a version of yourself that live out his life making uh, actions based on your programming and indoctrination, based on your information and data that was given to give form to your fucking mental paradigm. That allows you to be controlled just like Morpheus told Neo in the Matrix. Everybody that is not questioning and that is not thinking out the box far as they concern you one of the agents by default because if you ain't using your own mind then your body is gonna wake up and run on this algorithm that's part of your family traditions society traditions and all that and you're gonna keep reincarnate playing that game again you gotta break the script you got to do unpredictable and spontaneous actions to make the fucking processor work harder as long as you keep reincarnating doing what you were training, instructed, and educated, being a family member, you everybody in your family got a template that if you stay in it, you good. If you stray from the script, he ain't part of the... You know our family was raised this way and he doing it that way. You the black sheep. And that's what you when you wake up out the matrix. A lot of these folks going to be stuck here until they become the black sheep. So the thing about it is, it's, it's just a lot of soul harvesting going on. And ignorance is what they're relying on for the people to hand their energy over as food. Packaged up in the body for the AI. These are what, what it means to be a true energy vampire. You looking for monsters with fangs and blood on their chin talking about some <laughs> <laughs> and they extracting your energy up out your body from your damn seat of your soul. Look at what they doing. You looking for Dracula and shit. I'm serious. Some of y'all, man, need to chill out with all the pseudo shit. Because y'all around this bitch looking for this right here. <laughs> when the goddamn vampires right here, goddammit, extracting your life essence right up out the seat of your soul, nigga. Ain't got to deal with your AIDS infested ass blood on his mouth. But the real vampires are so advanced 